all right so in the last video you saw that we have configured circuit breaker in our application architecture so we have made the internal communication between our services resilient so whenever our service is down or whenever we are facing a performance issue we can be sure that we will have some kind of fallback mechanism or even in worst cases we will do a retry and maybe if it takes long time then we will do a timeout of our request right so we will have some kind of resiliency in our system however the question arises how can we effectively identify and troubleshoot these issues while reviewing logs is a common approach it becomes impractical in production environment where services can receive thousand or even millions of log entries therefore a design pattern called distributed tracing can be employed to address this challenge distributed tracing allow us to track a request from its initiation to its completion as the name suggests it enable us to trace the entire path of a request making it easier to pinpoint failures and understand the reason behind them by implementing distributed tracing we gain insight into why a request failed and potentially identify where it failed first let's understand what distributed tracing is consider the following example a user books a flight in our system the request first reaches to the api gateway which then proxies the request to the booking service the booking service in turn make a call to the flight service to effectively trace the request from api gateway to the flight service we require a mechanism for tracing this is where the concept of trace id comes into play in distributed tracing the trace id is a unique identifier assigned to each incoming request in our system alongside the trace id we also have something called as span id the span id represent the number of trips the request takes within our system in our example there is one trip to the api gateway another to the booking service and final to the flight service each destination has its own unique identifier known as span id such as span 1 for api gateway span 2 for booking service and so on essentially a span id act as a unique identifier for each request within our individual system by utilizing this trace and span ids we can trace the entire life cycle of request within our services this allow us to identify any services that are responding slowly or experiencing performance issue by referring to the trace id and span ids we will follow below steps first we will add some dependencies in the pom.xml file then we will download and install zipkin using docker and then finally we will configure the properties related to them so this is the official website of the zipkin and zipkin is a distributed tracing system it helps gather time and data needed to troubleshoot latency problem in service architectures the spring boot starter dependency helps in simplifying the configuration and dependency management process and spring boot test helps to effectively test your spring boot application functionality verifying the behavior of components now let's close this thing and add here dependency called zipkin and go to the explore section and you can find there are three dependencies added the first one is the spring boot starter actuator the second one is micrometer tracing bridge brave and the third one is zipkin reporter brave now let's see these three dependencies the first one is spring boot starter actuator it provides production ready feature for monitoring and managing your spring boot application The second one is micrometer tracing bridge brave which integrates brave's distributed tracing capabilities with micrometer matrix instrumentation and the third one is zipkin reporter brave which enables reporting of tracing data from brave to zipkin server for analysis and visualization now let's copy these dependencies in api gateway booking service flight service and discovery server 
I am using Visual Studio Code. So in the API gateway, go to the form.xml file and copy the dependency here and click on save. So it will ask build has been modified. Do you want to synchronize? Say yes. Go to the booking service. Go to the discovery service. And finally go to the flight service. The next step is download and install Zipkin using Docker. From the Zipkin website, go to the quick start and search for the Docker. So the Docker Zipkin project is able to build the Docker images. So let's copy this, uh, this command. We have two options. We can copy this Docker compose.yaml file and we can run it. Or we can directly copy this command and we can execute it. So let's copy this command and go to the terminal. And in the terminal, copy this command. At the first time, it will say it is not able to find this image. So it will take a while to download this image. As you can see the message status, downloaded new year image for open Zipkin, Zipkin latest. We can verify the same in Docker container. So go to the Docker container. And here you can see the image name open Zipkin, Zipkin has been created with the tag latest. And if we go to the container, it will give us the option status as running and it is running on port 9411. So by default the Zipkin runs on port 9411 and here we can provide the target option for the container where we want to store. So this is the default location. So let's click on this one. So this is how the Zipkin UI looks and here we have a different option to execute and run the query. So if you click on this run query we can able to see all the traces so let's see how we can do this so before running the query we need to configure our last step that is configuring some properties now we need to copy this property in all the modules api gateway discovery server booking service and flight service so this property is set to a value between 0 and 1 where 0 means no request will be sample and one means all the requests will be sample. By default, Spring Boot set this property to 0.1, which means that only 10% of requests will be sample. So now let's configure this for one, so that all the 100% request will be sampled. In the booking service application property, copy this one in the discovery server, and finally in the flight service also. Now let's restart all the four servers. Now all the four servers are running discovery server, booking server, API gateway and the flight service. Now verify this using the postman. Let's send one request in the postman. So this is my postman API which will follow from API gateway to the booking service. I have also implemented security using key clock. So first I will generate the token and let's use this token and then use the send command as you can see the booking id has been created successfully now let's verify this in the zipkin now let's visualize this request click on the run query and here you can see a minute ago the request has been sent so you can do a drop down here and you can see the components like api gateway has sent a request to the booking service and we can see this detail here so here is the trace ID and we can see the span ID and the span name. Along with that, what all information we can see here, this request is success and this is a post call for which URL it has been done. So the entire detail we can see. Along with that, you can see here it has called the filter before and after call for each request. So this also can be traced. I can show you some more options here like uh, we have this configuration called service name. So if I will provide service name equal to API gateway, we can give some additional information as well. So let's run only with the API gateway. If we execute this one, we can see all the API gateway requests will be visible. 
so this is how we can use zipkin to implement distributed tracing i hope you understand how we can see the trace id span id and other informations in case of failures as well thanks for watching the next video i am developing is with apache kafka integration in microservices spring boot architecture so see you soon in the next video